This project is called a pulley. In looking at the drawing, I can see that this part is symmetrical, both vertically and horizontally. So for our sketch, we can draw a one-fourth section of the pulley, which we can then revolve and mirror. So my sketch will involve working with a vertical and a horizontal center line and drawing just that one-fourth section of the pulley that I can use to revolve and mirror. I've started a new part studio in millimeters and I'll begin a sketch putting this on the right sketch plane and I want to start with my center lines. So I have a uh, center line. I want this to be coincident to the origin. So I'll place a horizontal line and then I want my vertical center line also coincident with the origin and establish that. With those done, I'm going to sketch a rough profile of this quarter section of the hub for the pulley. So I know that it looks something like that. I'll hit escape and now use my dimensions. I'm going to start with the largest dimension here. So the outside of the pulley has a total diameter of 130. And notice by using the center center line here for in putting on my dimensions, then I can put in the full amount, the full diameter. So these are symmetrical dimensions. I'm going to say the size of the hub here is 20. And then these points in between. So from here to the center line, this is going to be 120 total diameter from this point down will be 55 from this point down has a total diameter of 40 and now I can do some of my dimensions going uh, horizontally. So from the width at the top up here is going to be 25. The width of the web, I'm making sure I'm hitting the center line so I'm getting a, a total width. It's going to be 12 for that web section and the hub has a width of 40 and I can see that with these dimensions added that my profile now is fully defined. So I'll click the green box to accept this sketch and I'm going to use my revolve feature. Uh, it wants to know the regions and so we'll choose that closed region and then choose a revolve axis which will be this horizontal axis. And I can see that this creates half of the pulley. And that looks correct, so I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And to add the other half to this, I'm going to use a mirror. So I'll choose my mirror feature. This is going to be a part mirror. Choose the entities to mirror. We'll choose this half of the pulley. And now we want a mirror plane. Now you notice that we drew this so that this front plane becomes kind of a dividing line between the two halves. So I'm going to choose the front plane and it creates a mirror of that on the other side. And we're going to merge with all so that this becomes one part and I'll accept that. So that mends those two sides together and I've created the body of the pulley. Next we have some holes through this web section of the pulley. I need to create a sketch. I'm going to work on that surface or plane. Let's view normal. 
and I'm going to place a point for the center point of the first hole. Now I go to the origin, I want this to be coincident with the origin, and it's somewhere up in this section of the pulley. So I'll establish a point there, and now I'll dimension this from the origin to that pulley. It actually is 42, sits on a circle that has a diameter of 84, so we'll make that 42. That establishes the center point, and I'll use the center point circle, and this has a diameter of 20, and that's the hole. So I'll accept this and use an extrude to remove material and choose that hole. In this case, I want this to be through all. So it goes through the web part of the pulley and accept that. Now we're going to use a circular pattern of a feature here to distribute a total of six holes around that center axis. So I'm going to use a circular pattern for patterning a feature. In this case, I have to use the drop-down menu to choose feature pattern as opposed to part. In this case, it wants to know which feature. I could either choose here or I could go over to my feature list and click on extrude one as the feature. And now it wants an axis for the pattern. Now I need a line in the middle of that hub. I think I drew one with sketch one. So I'm going to turn on sketch one by clicking on the eyeball and I can see it there. So now I'll choose the axis by using that center line. And I see it's suggested a four. We need a total of six around 360 degrees. And that looks correct. So I'll accept it, and then I'm going to go back and switch off that sketch, turn off the work sketch planes, and we have our finished pulley.